very early morning start. We had to take my mom to the airport and uh, and she uh, This is a map of a uh, German Empire in 1904. I don't have a lot going on today. Uh, it's mostly just going to be a work day, like in in the office. I do have a couple of phone calls later today that I have to do. Um, yeah. It's 11 o'clock right now. I just spent the last four hours making making shorts. I have a lot more. Uh, like. Uh, on my desktop, I have a bunch of videos that need to be chopped up into shorts, and there's literally like 15 to 20 of them. And I'm trying to I'm trying to push through and get them done. It's just it's basically like a brand new edit because I have to make a completely new story, and then just my brain's a little fried now. All that to be said. If you're interested in seeing any of the shorts, here they are, uh, right here. Let me show you my favorite coffee shop in downtown Nashville. We stumbled across the coffee shop when we were grabbing food from a food court. The name of the food court is called the Assembly Hall. It has a bunch of different food that you could grab pretty easily, but it has this French coffee shop called Whisk. If you're into coffee at all, I highly recommend you try this, this place out because if you saw somebody pooping and peeing behind a car, what would you do? Savannah and I were downtown one time and we were on our way to a shoot and we saw this guy in front of this car and he was, he was taking a crap. Once we realized what he was doing, we could quickly got out of the parking garage and we quickly collected ourselves and we headed to our shoot. The location of the crap was actually here, Printer's Alley, and it's basically just an alleyway in downtown Nashville, but the parking garage was right there. That's where we saw him pooping, which is kind of crazy. What would you do? Because... Are you the kind of person that if, if you... If you're trying to figure something out and you can't, you just you, you fixate on it and that's all you can think about and then like you, you basically waste your entire day on that one thing. And it can be the most inconsequential thing. Like you just you fixate on it until you, you figure it out. I just spent the last three, four, five hours trying to figure out one thing in Final Cut Pro. I had to zoom out and realize that I have other things to do besides that one thing. And uh, I can't be the only one. As I'm getting older, I'm really trying to see the big picture and not just the small, my new thing. And uh, I feel like big picture today would be I have a bunch of things that I need to get done, including uh, have a couple of meetings. And the, the very small tunnel visioned picture was trying to figure out how to use, or how to not even how to use Final Cut Pro, how to do one specific thing in Final Cut Pro. But I haven't figured it out yet, and it's it's uh, it's nagging in the back of my head, and I'm having to really try hard to not uh, it's. About to go to my first meeting. Well, it's a phone call, but go in. Just kidding, it was delayed by 30 minutes. So. Do we have any thumbtacks? That's uh, that's only temporary. I'm getting a, uh, I'm getting a proper frame for it, but I still want to look at it and. Uh... Hello. Well, that wasn't so bad. I, I tried sitting down, but I had to, I had to pace. So it's a great conversation. So that phone call, I can't tell you what it was for or any of the details yet, but the phone call went well. And as soon as I know more and have like more logistics, then I will, I will talk to you about it. But for now, just know that it went well and uh, you'll be hearing about it more in the future. Hopefully. Now I think we're getting food.